Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I know it's been a while. I've been slightly active on Insta and YouTube stories, so I guess you would have got a glimpse of what's going on. Now in this lockdown, I know many of you might be missing eating out and I am no less. I just want to get out and have my favorites. It's been almost two months we have eaten out, which I think is something really good in one way. I cook more but in moderation and home cooked meals are far better than eating out. So I'm just trying out and experimenting dishes that I miss the most. One among that is Albeek Broast. Only recently they started Albeek in Riyadh and now lockdown. So give a try preparing a similar one. Nobody will get the original recipe as it's a family secret. But why not try out from the taste of your tongue? So keep watching. You need to definitely marinate the chicken overnight preferably or at least 8 hours and poke the chicken pieces with a fork. Only then the marinade will seep through and bring out the best flavor. You need ginger garlic for this. Now if you have paste you can use that. I actually grated. I took a small size ginger and some garlic. Like if you are taking 1 spoon ginger paste, you need 2 spoon garlic paste. Then olive oil around 3 tablespoons. Now lemon juice, I have taken 4 tablespoons. Lemon juice helps the chicken to get well cooked a bit faster than otherwise. Then cinnamon powder, I took half to 3 4 teaspoon. Then red chilli flakes, 3 teaspoons. Black pepper powder, 1 teaspoon. This is dry parsley and it's optional. But if you have it, definitely add and that's 1 teaspoon. Then 2 teaspoons salt. When I mixed, I felt that the bits of ginger and garlic needs to be a paste. So I added everything in a grinder to blend to a paste. Add the chicken pieces and mix thoroughly. Cover and keep in the refrigerator, not in the freezer. Coincidentally, the day I decided to prepare fried chicken, it was Arman's birthday and in this lockdown, we are not getting out as well. So I thought of preparing a simple pudding and that's orange custard pudding as we had lots of oranges at home. So from 2 cups of milk, I took 3 spoons out and mixed in 2 and a half tablespoon of custard powder. Heat the milk till it reaches the boiling point. Reduce the flame and add the custard mix to the milk. Stir continuously for a minute. Then turn to high flame, let it boil and cook for 5 seconds and then take it off. Here I took 4 oranges. Squeeze out the juice from it. Now you can scrape out the pulp from it and fill the custard in it. But I am using this glass for presenting. I got 2 cups of orange juice. Added 1 cup water and sugar as per needed. Now boil the orange juice for 5 minutes or else you will have that bitter taste. Back to the custard that has cooled down. Adding half tin condensed milk. You may add more if you want more sweetness. I should have taken the zest before cutting the oranges, that's more easy. Anyway, I have taken the zest of one orange here. Do not skip this because this adds more flavor to the custard. Instead of taking just one type biscuit, I used a mix and that actually tastes better than just one type. The orange juice has cooled down. I don't know but it's always told that you need to double boil gelatin and not on direct flame. If you know the reason, do let me know in the comment section. Here I have used 10 grams sachet and half more, so around 15 grams of gelatin. Add some orange juice in it and double boil. Then add the melted gelatin to the orange juice. Mix and pour into glasses equally. Keep in the fridge till set.
As I keep washing dishes, the pots and pans come from here and there and fill up the sink again and again. Finally cleaning done. In the morning when I checked the orange juice layer was set The next layer adding the crushed biscuits I added the custard to a piping bag because it reduces the mess while pouring into the glass and it was his birthday on this day adding some crushed biscuits as a garnish and that's going in the refrigerator until needed i had the custard and biscuits left so made it this way I personally love the custard with the biscuits but not the orange juice layer much but it actually looks pretty when there are two layers For a snack quickly prepared falafel patties instead of frying I baked them you can get the recipe link above or below in the description box I have given instructions for baking as well as frying. made a pineapple salad to have for iftar for the dressing add a 2 teaspoons of hot sauce 2 tablespoons of olive oil 3 tablespoons tahina 3 tablespoons honey salt and mix together these are optional adding some sesame seeds and black cumin then goes in chopped pineapple adding some chopped green chilies as well some coriander leaves mix well finally add a 2 tablespoons of mayonnaise and red chili flakes if you want you can add fresh cream instead of mayonnaise
it was time for iftar instead of pineapple you can use mango too and chopping few dates into this is my husband's favorite so you can try adding that as well We normally have dinner late night and before that kids have online fitness class. It helps them not to lose in touch with their badminton game. Now to the albake style fried chicken. For the coating you will need 2 cups all purpose flour, 1 cup corn flour and 1 tablespoon baking powder. So it's like 2 is to 1 is to 1 ratio so you can adjust as per needed. Then add 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of paprika. Half to three fourth teaspoon oregano, some salt, around a tablespoon, and mix everything well. Now the chicken I had taken out an hour back so that it's room temperature. First, dip all the chicken pieces in the flour mix and keep aside. Now to the leftover marinade add 3 eggs and whisk. Now dip each chicken piece in the egg and then coat well in the flour. If you want you can have a second coat by dipping in the egg mix again and then in the flour. But I give just one coat and I feel that was enough. If you have any leftover flour and egg you can give a second coat to avoid wastage. I did that for the last four pieces. Now you need to deep fry the chicken pieces so make sure the oil is heating on low flame. I had kept this on low flame for 15 minutes. Do not put the flame on high. Add the chicken pieces and do not overcrowd the pan. I added four at a time. And once you put the chicken, do not disturb it for at least 5 to 7 minutes. Now you can take it off. It takes only 10 to 12 minutes for cooking and don't worry the chicken will be well cooked inside. Now before putting the next batch, wait for 2 minutes and then put. Repeat the same way. These were store bought ones and I fried it in the air fryer. For a simple coleslaw, I have grated few cabbage leaves and one carrot. To that, add a three to four tablespoons of sugar, or you can use quarter cup condensed milk. Then two tablespoons mayonnaise, some black pepper powder, and salt. If you want it to be a little more creamy, you may add some fresh cream. For a quick garlic sauce, into a blender, I add a three cloves of garlic. two egg whites salt and oil blend well and it becomes to a thick consistency it was time for dinner This has become my family's favorite fried chicken. So do try it out. I'm sure it would be your favorite too. I had put up a story on the change I had done to the dining area. Lockdown is really challenging, so this is what I love to do. Bring out changes and feel it new. It's been almost 2 months I have got out from home. But we have no option but stay home and stay safe. 
Hope you all are doing well and I hope you all are safe too. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Assalamualaikum.